Hey guys, I have a review for you today on Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. And if you watch a lot of booktuber videos, I'm sure you've seen reviews of this before. It's definitely been going around and everyone gave it really good reviews, so I decided to give it a shot. And I can't say I was enth as enthusiastic about it as everyone else was, but if you don't know what it's about, it is about the 50 Miss Teen Dream pageant contestants that were flying to the pageant when their plane crashed on a deserted island. And it's all kind of about their struggle to survive and how they handle it. And it's, they're, the whole book is kind of portrayed in a really interesting way. It's got commercials, like kind of interspersed between the girls' stories. And it does give the story, there's kind of a main character, which is Adina, but then you also get kind of background on a bunch of different girls from their perspectives. And it's, a strange book. It's kind of a parody, I guess, of the whole pageant scene because it's just taken to ridiculous lengths. Like when they crash, you know, their main concern is finding lip gloss and practicing their routines even though they're starving and all the girls are just so fake in the beginning and it's just so, I guess, ridiculous. I mean, it's meant to be, obviously. It's meant to be ridiculous and over the top and that's kind of why I couldn't get into it. I just wasn't a fan. But then in between their story you get little commercials from the corporation and in, while the girls are talking you'll get like product placements and stuff. So I mean it's a unique idea and I appreciated that. It was different but it just wasn't my cup of tea. Um, and then so <clears throat> the girls finally decide to take it seriously that they're starving and on this island and they struggle to survive and they figure out you know how to take care of themselves. And of course, um, the cast of, I can't remember what it's called, Bodacious Beach Bodies, or I don't know, something weird like that. Like, it's this pirate, reality pirate show with these hot guys. And they end up marooned on the island. And of course, meet up with the girls. And then, all on the side, there's this, the corporation, which runs companies and TV channels and shows. And um, turns out they're kind of evil and have this evil scheme going on, and the girls get involved in it. So, I actually, okay, so I didn't like the book, but then I couldn't really put it down either, which I found strange, because usually you either can't put it down and you're really into it and like it, or you hate it, and I kept reading it and kept saying, I don't really like this, I don't really like this, but then I kept reading and I couldn't really put it down and I wanted to know what happened next. I did like the girls' struggle to survive and when they finally, you know, cracked down and were figuring out how to get water and food, and I found all that really interesting. And if the whole book had been that, I probably would have really liked it. I didn't like the whole corporation part. I didn't really, even though it was kind of cool and different, I didn't like the whole commercials and product placement and corporations, slogans and propaganda placed in between and all that jazz. But it was definitely different. It was an uh, easy read. And I did like the character development, because at first when they're all on the island, they're all such, you know, pageant girls, and all they care about is their hair and makeup and clothes and all that. And then you kind of get to find out the real girl behind all that, and how they all are there for different reasons, and they're all kind of more real than you thought, most of them, and are smarter than you would think, although too smart, I think. The fact that they all managed to survive so easily, and they all have backgrounds in, like, I don't know, biology and engineering and stuff like this. Like, really? While you're busy practicing for this pageant, you're majoring in engineering or something. It's, it was a little out there. Not that that was the main, you know, concern in the story, but just little things like that bothered me. Um, so overall, I did not really like it, I guess. I'm very conflicted. I, didn't, I don't think I liked it. But it was compelling. It was a compelling story. Um... So I guess I recommend it, because everyone else likes it. I sort of liked it. I kind of. I really don't know what I thought about it. Um, yeah. So, if anyone sees this and didn't really like it, let me know, because I feel like I'm the only one. Everyone else seemed to, like, just rave about it and thought it was the cool, best thing ever. So, yeah, there you go. Um, leave you with that confusing thought, and I'll talk to you guys later.